Very good. All right. Next item. Okay, next item is the uh, revenue trends that we've been going over uh, each month, as I, I mentioned in the budget message. Um, the wage tax is the key thing that I've been looking at here. Um, and it's it's been relatively holding its own. We're we're still we're losing a little bit of we're losing a little bit, um, and I'm projecting that we're going to lose about two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Last year was our biggest year, as you can see from the graph, which will be on the website tomorrow. Also, uh, we collected about seven point nine million dollars in um, wage tax last year, which is the most wage tax I've, I think Monroeville's ever collected. Um, I'm looking at maybe collecting about 7.4 this year and next year. So that's, that's and the $250,000 reduction is based on what we have budgeted of $2.65 million this year. But it's doing, if somebody would have asked me where a wage tax would have been in May, I thought would have lost a lot more to tell you the truth. Um, so, so it's not as bad as I had thought, but there's still going to be some re, uh, reduction on that. And also, the uh, current uh, bus uh, the business uh, tax also has come in. We delayed that. Council delayed that from April 15th to July 15th. And that has come in right on par, just like any other year, which that was even surprising. But next year is going to be a different story because it's based on the previous year's gross receipts uh, of, of the businesses in the community. So that is going to tell the tale. April 15th is going to tell the tale on what the businesses uh, bring in uh, to the municipality uh, next year. And we'll know, we'll know more as we move along here um, uh, this year, at the end of this year, and then when we start the audit, and then also April 15th of uh, next year. Any questions on the uh, revenue trend uh, that we go over each month? Nope. Next item.